Hello, 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 and welcome to this video on my top five tips of Blackout on Black Ops 4. Now, I might be having footage here with the tips, I might not, I have yet to decide whether or not I want to be that lazy. So, let's just jump into it. Uh, the number one tip uh, is learning the wingsuit, and that is if the area you want to go to isn't over the path of the uh, helicopters, if it's not like directly over it, it's best if you eject immediately. And the way it works is you want to wingsuit straight down immediately, and then once you see on the right where there's like the uh, basically the uh, meter of telling you how high above the ground you are, there's like these arrows there, and that's basically telling you how uh, arrows triangles, whatever you want to call them, basically telling you how fast you're going downwards. And you want to like just immediately after you jump out, just aim straight down, and you're gonna see three like triangles, arrows, whatever you want to call them. Like I said, I'm gonna call them arrows. But yeah, if you look at the right and it's like it's hitting three pointing down, you want to angle upwards. And like while you're aiming down, you want to angle like basically towards the direction you're going to. If you want to left, to the right, whatever you know, angle that way while you're angling straight down. And once you hit those three arrows, just angle straight because the moment the sorry the momentum carries as it would you know in real life. You know the momentum of you going down up, then angling upwards would carry you know with a wingsuit in real life. Probably not as realistic, but you know about there you know so you know it carries you so you like if you're not over the direct path you can basically go into that direction much faster the moment you eject out and do that over just in the flight path and then just eject and going that way because like i said the momentum carries so you want to jump out immediately go straight down till you see the three arrows on the right then angle straight back forward towards just one arrow again and then just you're gonna fly right over there right over to that area so if you're like coming over uh what would be, say, uh, like the asylum area, if you want to go to uh, Nuketown, it's best you just mainly go over that way. Because you get there much, much faster. Because the flight path is like the f fastest way to get to those areas when it's on it, but otherwise, you're going about a little less speed than the helicopters, you know, not by much, but you're, you're like nearly nearing the speed. They've slowed it down since the beta, because the beta you used to actually go much faster than the uh, helicopters, but yeah, you pretty go, I mean, pretty, you pretty good, you go pretty much faster than you would think in uh, probably real life, maybe, but you get to the areas pretty fast, so it's best if you just, like I said, eject immediately, just angle straight down, curve up once you hit those three arrows, and just fly right over there. Get you to that area much faster. And if you're wondering how people are getting to those areas much faster than you, that's how. So yeah, that's tip number one. Tip number two. Now, I don't know why I don't see much people doing this, even though it's, like, I think it's common sense of what the whole aspect is of the ammo is. But uh, pick up everything, dude. Just any ammo you come across. Even if you don't have the gun, just pick it up. Especially if you're playing in teams, you know. Pick up the ammo. Because the thing is, it the ammo, you carry it like you would in Fortnite. It's not like PUBG, it's Fortnite. So, you know, that has, you know, capacity high-wise, but it's, you know, it's over on the side. You won't, you know, carry uh, weight with it. You know, it's it's max amount. So, it's, like I said, it's kind of like Fortnite. So, you know, if you get in a, you got two guns, you got a sniper and a AR and whatever that AR might be by, like, say it's, holds 7.62, what it takes, when it holds it, takes 7.62, and you kill a guy, and he has, like, no 7.62, but he has a 5.56 weapon, and it's like, okay, well, he's got a 5.56 weapon, but he ain't got much 5.56, well, if you were, if you were picking up all the ammo, and you picked up the 5.56 ammo, then you'd have a lot, probably a lot of 5.56, and you just take that weapon and go on, you know, uh, I mean, the, um, people over at Treyarch, like, the high up said, like, yeah, we tested the whole thing, like, Fortnite, where auto picked up the ammo, but then everybody was carrying out max ammo, and stuff, like, well, why wouldn't you anyways? Because it's like Fortnite. It's, it, you got no carrying weight. It's just, just it's a max amount. So, you know, the their argument is itself invalid if you're not a, you know, idiot. Which, I'm not saying you are if you don't pick it up for the most part, though. It's just, it's like, why not pick it up, though? You might... It's understandable if you're not, like, picking up the shotguns and all that other thing. If you're not going to have a shotgun and whatnot, like, you got a sniper and AR. You want to, you know, keep that combo. For the most part, you know, pick up all the SMG ammo, all the AR ammo, any of the uh, sniper ammo, if it's 338 or 50 cal, you know, pick it up. Do yourself a favor, pick it up. Like I said, especially if you're in a 
duos or squads, you know, if you got teammates. Pick up the ammo, because even if you might not have the gun for that ammo, your teammate might, and he might be seeing it later on, it's like, oh, I'm running low on 9mm. It's like, shit, I saw the 9mm back that way. I could have picked it up, but fuck, I'm an idiot, because I play PUBG. Like, I'm advising you to understand. This might have some PUBG aspects to it, but it also has Fortnite aspects to it, being mainly the ammo. So, yeah, you, uh, you don't have ammo in your inventory, carrying wise. It's off on the side like it is in Fortnite. So pick up all the ammo. Do yourself a favor. Because one, not as only as you're having all this ammo just in case you might need it, or your teammate, you know, you're picking it up and leaving a weapon there where it's only going to have the ammo for that weapon. And you might be fucking over an enemy too. So, you know, be smart. Be smart. Pick up all the fucking ammo if you can carry it. You know, if you're not at max yet, pick it up. Trust me. You're gonna be thankful, especially, like I said, in team games. Because you might pick up that ammo and, like, well, I got 9mm here, but I don't have a gun for it. It's like, oh, I got a gun that has 9mm over here. You know, give me that ammo. It's like, there you go. You're helping out your team. Be smart about it. Okay, uh, tip number three. This is uh, probably an understandable tip, but pick up as much health as you can. I mean, don't pick up too much, but, you know, be uh, smart. Especially, this isn't just about, uh, I would say, about health, but about anything. Understand and pick up what things stack, you know? Like, you need to... Uh, Memorize what does and does not stack and what amount it stacks up to like the uh, bandages it stacks up to 10 I think it's uh, 10 maybe 5 that the uh, Next one up stacks up to the uh, med kit and you got you know then your trauma kit which doesn't stack And now you, know, you got your grenades like the mesh mines and everything like you got a grappling hook Those things still not stack and stuff you know just remember what does and does not stack so that's tip number three is I would just, you know, memorize what does and does not stack and what it stacks to. You do your best to, you know, memorize that stuff. So you don't have to keep going into your inventory and learning here and there. Just, you know, where you're going to learn. But, you know, learn as quickly as you can about the stacking effects, you know. What does and does not stack and what it, the amount stacks to, you know. That way you know how to better your inventory so you can be fast. Because the inventory in this game... It's not that good, it's not. Like, uh, Fortnite's kind of okay, PUBG's pretty good, but the uh, Blackout, the inventory, and the uh, loot system definitely needs work, definitely. People have said it time and time again, I'll say too. So this is one of the tips to help, you know, combat that if they don't ever, you know, better it. Learn stacking. Learn what stacks, what doesn't, and what the amount it stacks to, so that way you can just know, like, boom, okay, I already have 10, we're good, let's do this, it's like, like, once you open your inventory and you see the numbers, it's like, okay, we're good, you know, because it, it's a battle royale game, and a battle royale, you know, everything is fast, 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 even if it's, you know, not that fast pace going on, you gotta do things fast as possible, because the longer you're in, um, your inventory, or a, um, little dead body crate, whatever you want to call them here, and flag out, you know, the longer you're in there, the more time there is for somebody to sneak up and just end you while you're just down there looking like, hey, uh, uh, do I need that? Uh, how much does that? It's like, that way you know, okay, I would have this stuff and everything. So you don't have to worry about that. Seeing that, uh, Margaret come up saying, inventory four, inventory four, inventory four, and stuff like that, you know. The way you learn and everything, you know, everything's moved around and stuff. Okay. Tip number four. Know the perks. As a... Uh, Simple as that one is too, just like kind of, I guess, the wingsuit, but it's, it helps, you know. Because there are some perks you might know better and some perks you don't and some perks you need more than others. So, you know, learn the perks and what you need. Because there's like two perks, I think, that are underwhelming and either need a rework or just a removal in some way or something, you know. And the two perks are is, uh, I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's called Team Link because it's what it's called in the... Uh, Multiplayer, but it's basically you see your teammates through walls. Now, one, I'm not sure if it's in the free for all, it, the solo one. If it is, it needs you know definitely removal because what the fuck's the point? But I don't think it is. So you know, there's that. But you know, for the most part, it's it's almost pointless. Like, why do you need to see them through walls? What's the point? It's helped to see you know enemies through walls, but to see your teammates, it's like they would have a name thing over them. I'm basically, I know where they are for the most part. Like sometimes they help, but unless it's you know like. If they're ever going to come out with a hardcore mode where there's, like, no, uh, gamer tag above their heads, like, then you're 
you don't really need the bark. It's you know, it's pointless, really. I mean, it, it, it be, might be nice if you have it or something, but for the most part, it's, it's pointless, especially with the aspects of it being blackout. And, you know, communication is key and stuff, you know? So you basically tell him you know, what you're doing, where you are and everything, you know, what's happening and stuff. People, for the most part, in team aspects, you know, communicate very well. So this perk is, you know, pointless, you know? It, it needs a rework or it needs, you know... Uh, Remove one replacement with something else or something. I don't know, but it's just it's whatever. And the other one, it's it's kind of okay. It's better than it, but it's still kind of like uh, if you ever come across it, because a lot of times I've come across it, I've not really needed it. And it's a uh, not sure what the call the puck is called, but it's basically you take less damage when you're in the zone or out of the zone. I don't know. Sure, basically the blue when you're in the blue, you know. As as especially you would say with PUBG, if you're in the blue, you're taking damage and stuff. You know, you're taking area effect damage from the storm, whatever you want to call it, you know, you're taking damage, but this perk lessens that, and a lot of times I've come across it, I've just left it, because I've, either I'm going to be dead from, you know, a person, maybe the zone, I've died probably once, maybe twice from the zone, uh, I've died once because I was in a battle f with another person for a vehicle in, uh, basically Nuketown, we had to go, and I killed him, but I was left with, like, six health, and I had no, uh, health items I had to get to him to get the health and I knew by the time I would I'd be dead anyways because it's like it's two ticks per second so yeah this perk is like it's it's okay but for the most part it's itself underwhelming because like how many times are you gonna be out in the blue and taking damage you know really it's, it's, it's it, like I said it needs a rework or a removal slash uh, replacement or something you know like I said, those are the like the weakest perks but every other perk for the most part has a you screw it, and it's like you need to understand it. And like one thing, I think also needs a rework, basically because the game itself, wise of this needs a rework, and that is uh, awareness. And awareness basically t it's the audio of footsteps, a uh, bit bigger. Like the uh, level of it goes higher. You know, it's, it's like you might hear these footsteps five feet away, but when you crank up it up with awareness, it's like you can hear those same first steps at the audio wise 15 feet away, you know? Let's see how the audio itself needs to rework itself with footsteps because, for one, like I said, with my uh, my few aspects, wise, whatever, the like you can hear footsteps like in Nuketown when like you're in or above the bunker, like you can hear the footsteps of people running around in the bunker and you're like looking around, like, where is the footsteps? Where, 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 where is it? Oh, it's below me. Seriously, why the fuck am I hearing those footsteps? Like, why am I underground and I'm hearing footsteps of people above me? Why am I above the, you know, thing on top of Newtown and I'm hearing the footsteps in the bunker? It's like, it's like, I shouldn't be hearing those footsteps and that's without awareness. And, you know, if you hear where, if you get awareness of that, it increases the volume of footsteps in itself and it, it just, it needs a rework. It, uh, footstep audio in itself needs a rework for that. As well as like many other reasons that like I said with awareness that like you hear footsteps and they sound so close but they might be actually farther away and stuff. It's like the audio in itself needs to rework. There's so much that in this blackout mode wise of stuff needs to rework or you know tuning or whatever you want to call it improvements. But yeah, you know you got that. You got like say paranoia and it's like like you hear like these voices like ah oh, kind of like that you know and it's like you hear if especially if you have headphones on you can hear in a certain direction. And that's a direction which you're being looked upon by an enemy. So if you hear like, ah, off to this way, and that means somebody in that direction is looking at you. So you might better, you know, either turn or hide, you know. But there's, you know, other Friday perks and stuff that help out and, or, you know, might not need, like, a uh, hold breath. Hold breath is a nice one, but it's, it's, um, like, all, all you ever needed for is, like, uh, snipers or what would be uh, I guess they call snipers but what is it like uh, marksman rifles marksman rifles or snipers you know because they're the only ones that you can truly really hold your breath everything else you're just you're pointing and shooting you can't hold your breath to you know better your aim it's snipers or DMRs that's you know designated marksman rifles you know and if you don't have any of those what's the point of having you know that park you know it's it's kind of almost like the oh uh you know, so taking less damage kind of part. It's like, unless you really need it, you, what's the point, you know? Uh, you would want these perks to have a bit more to them, but whatever, you know? Uh, there's like, Friday other perks, you know? 
But you know, like I said, learn the perks. So that was tip number four. On to tip number five. Understanding how, you know, the guns work. Especially with the snipers. Because unlike most Call of Duties, with especially this, you know, being a battle royale. The guns have a variety of difference to them. Especially with the snipers. Because, you know, the snipers themselves have bullet drop now. You know, there's never been bullet drop in Call of Duty until now with the battle royale. So, you know. Learn how the guns work with the kicks and whatnot, and their attachments, what, how much goes on what, because, you know, there's, there needs to be a bit more information with those things, too, because you might have, like, a, uh, quick draw mag or a extend mag, but it's for SMGs, you know, there's, like, it, it just says, that stuff, for the most part, sent, but for the most part, you know, learn the, uh, guns and everything about them, you know, as best as you can, you know, like, what I said, like, uh, uh, what goes on what because you might have picked up a extended mag but it, you don't have a weapon for it you might have a sniper and an AR but the uh, but you you just hit X because you thought it was gonna auto go to your AR and it didn't because you know and you're fucking over your inventory you're fucking over time so do what you can to learn those you know it's, some of that stuff is easier to learn than others like the kick and the uh, bullet drop and stuff but for the most part it's, it's not that hard to understand but you know you know, learn those five tips. Learn the ring suit stuff. You know, learn to pick up all the ammo. Just pick up all the ammo. You know, learn what does and doesn't stack, and what you know, how much it stacks onto. Learn the perks and learn the weapons. And the, those would be my top five tips on how to better yourself on Blackout on Black Ops Four. So yeah, learn all those things, and you should be right as rain. You know, you might you. Get some better chances of wins here and there and stuff, you know. So, you know, learn those things and you're good to go. So, you know, I thank you for watching. I hope you're informed as best as you can. Maybe a little entertained and I hope you have a rock'em second day. Peace.